Good evening guys. Just got home from work and hanging outside with Noel for a little bit. Kind of watching where I'm walking because uh, I haven't pooper scooped in a long time. But here's the problem with working an hour away. When I left Cleveland, it was nice and sunny. No sun whatsoever. Anywhere. No sun up there. But it's warmer here. Well, when I left there, it was colder out than it is here. I don't understand it. It's only an hour away. I know they're up by the lake. I'm down here, a little bit farther off the lake. An hour off the lake. But, who knows. But, as soon as I figure out what Noelle's barking at, me and her are going to go for a walk. Uh, try to get three days in a row. So, I know you guys don't want to walk with me every single day, so I will probably talk to you after the walk. What are you barking at? Huh? Oh, I see the problem. The problem is right there. She can't reach her ball. Is this what you're barking at? We'll see you guys in a minute. Or half an hour or so. So done with the walk. Uh, I only went a mile, but I tried to walk a little bit faster than normal. I paced uh, 18 minutes per mile. So that's about two minutes per mile faster than I did on Sunday. So I uh, didn't walk as far, but tried to walk a little bit faster, get my heart rate up a little bit more. A uh, little bit more cardio workout. Uh, I'm headed to uh, Home Depot. And I know I said forever ago it was my favorite store, but then I didn't go there for like a month. But it's uh, about time I start getting some projects done around the house. I need to go pay my bill, so I need to start uh, going there and getting this stuff done. Tonight's a small project. It's only going to be replacing the toilet seat cover. But uh, hey, small project's a project. Uh, so I will see you at Home Depot. Oh, Home Depot, how I have missed you. It's been way too long. Time for us to get reacquainted. So that's the one I want with these kind of connections. I don't like these connections, if you remember. These break off. These go all the way through the toilet and won't break off. So that's what I need to get. But since it's Home Depot, I think I will uh, look around first. See what else I can find. Another project of mine is a upstairs bathroom. We got a new window up there and I want to replace all the rotting out wood with a new vinyl trim around the window. So I'm just gonna grab some prices real quick off of what I need so I can get that project done too. I may actually do that project this weekend. I might come back up here and buy some of that and do that. I don't know yet, depends on how I feel. But uh, something to possibly look forward to, an actual construction project. Of course, no trip is to Home Depot's complete without looking at tools. I do need some bigger clamps. Heck. Uh, I don't think I need pliers. Don't need torches. In fact, most of the stuff in this aisle, I don't think I need. It's shocking. Oh, uh, wait, never mind. Stuff I do need. I'd love to have a drill press. I'd love to have a router table. I'd love to have a router. A little jigsaw, I'd love to have that. I'd love to have a sander. Right there. Honey, make a mental note. Christmas presents. I don't know if I want Ryobi or Craftsman. Here's the deal, I used to love Craftsman. But something about Craftsman anymore, the quality's not as good as it used to be. Craftsman's actually been disappointing me quite a bit. All the way from my uh, tractor I bought last year. Uh, we'll talk about the tractor a little bit later in the year when I have to start cutting the grass. But I might be switching it up, moving to Ryobi. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. If you have an opinion, leave a comment if uh, you know who makes good tools. Ryobi or Craftsman or DeWalt. Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
Well, that wasn't too bad. That was a simple run in, pay your bills, grab a toilet seat cover. Should have took 10 minutes. Took me 45 minutes, which was actually pretty good. Did walk into up and down most aisles. Have a couple ideas for a couple future projects I want to do. And hopefully I'll get uh, to doing those. But I am on my way back home to get this thing installed. Well, that was almost embarrassing. I almost forgot to clean the toilet before I uh, put it on camera. But here's the problem. When you sit on this, it pops off and it does that. Really simple. And that's because these things just pop off of here, like I said in the store. So the new one's going to fix that problem. So step number one, get the old one off. So to put this new toilet seat together, this screw here, simply screws into here, like so. And then this little cap thing screws onto that all the way down so it looks like this. This will actually hold it tight on the toilet so it doesn't scooch around. And then you put it through the holes and then this goes on the bottom side like so. Well, wow, that's actually kind of hard. It's harder than it looks with one hand. Like so, it holds it on there and uh, we're good. So I'm going to install this and uh, show you the finished project. So there you go. That thing's not going anywhere. One finished project. Checked it off my list. So, got that project done. Was watching some uh, YouTube, catching up on some of the stuff I've missed over the weekend. Uh, got a couple other chores done, like taking the trash out, which also involves cleaning the cat litter. And I think I'm gonna relax the rest of the note. Rest of note. Rest of the night. Wait for Kristen to get home. Speaking of Kristen, on a little more serious note, her grandma uh, fell the other night and uh, broke her hip. Uh, she went to surgery last night, or yesterday evening, and is recovering well, as far as I know. Haven't heard anything otherwise, so she's recovering well. So I'd like to wish her and uh, my father-in-law and their family uh, some prayers and good well-being and all the other stuff. Hope for a speedy recovery. Uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, kind of personally know what that's like because uh, a year or so ago my mom fell and broke her hip so we know exactly what they're going through as far as uh, having to find a place for physical therapy a nursing home uh, going to her apartment making sure it's uh, she's able to come back to a safe apartment all that stuff that goes with a uh, major surgery for an elderly person so I uh, appreciate your prayers and your thoughts with their f her and her family. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you probably right before we go to bed. So Kristen just called and she is on her way home from work. And I think she's going to stop at Taco Bell and get us some dinner. So I'm going to uh, end this vlog here. Just to let you guys know, I did hear from uh, my father-in-law and uh, his mom, Kristen's grandma is doing really well uh, surgery went really well and she's doing really well and she'll be moving to the nursing home tomorrow probably so uh, again appreciate all the support and uh, prayers and stuff you will probably be giving her so thank you in advance uh, but thanks for watching thumbs up if you liked it uh, if you're new hit that subscribe button whichever side it's on somewhere down there comment down there too and uh, have a good day we will talk to you tomorrow.